redundancy theorem. Redundancy theorem says that any time you have term in the expression, which is the product of the integers to the complements, that term is redundant. What it really means? Let's take a look at the very first expression. I have to find the complements first. I have L0 and I have L. Let's take a look. What do we have next to L0? We have K. And next to L, I have M0. Now, these two variables create extra term. Right? These two variables create extra term over here. That's why this term has to be cancelled out. And the answer to my expression is L0 K or M0 L. Let's take a look at the second example. Again, someone can try to factorize, but factoring is not going to give you too much. So, if you cannot factorize, you can always try to apply the redundancy term. I have complements. I have A and A0. I have complements, right? Next, I have to check what do I have multiply to my complements. I have B and I have C, right? So I can say that these two variables create extra term in my expression. That's why this term has to be cancelled out. That's why my answer is A, B or A not C. Let's take a look at another example. Again, someone can try to factorize, but you can try, but you are going to realize that it's not going to give you anything simple than this. So maybe we're supposed to apply the redundancy term. Take a look, we have A, B, not. So this is NAND gate. I have A, B. This is end gate. So I have complements. These two terms are complements. What do I have next to them? I have C, D naught. C, D naught create extra term on the side. That's why I'm going to cancel out this term. And my answer is going to be A, B, naught, C, or A, B, D naught. Let's do next problem. Again, let's take a look for the complements. Do we have any complements? Yes, we have. You have to remember that A naught B and A or B naught are complements. Okay, so I have complements. And next you have to check what do we have next to the complements. Next to complements I have D and EF. These terms create extra term on the side. Right? So that's why this has to be cancelled out. That's why my answer is A not B times D or A or B not E F Let's do next example. I have again complements. I have A exclusive or B and A exclusive nor B. 
these are my complements. Next we have to check what do we have next to the complements. Next to the complements I have A or C and D or E. So these two these two terms create extra term over here. That's why I'm going to cancel this out. And my answer is going to be A exclusive or B A exclusive or B and A or C everything has to be or to A B not and I have D or E